I'm your host, Pete Hexeth, tonight and for the remainder of the week. And once again, we train our eyes on Texas because for all intents and purposes, it has become Texas versus the world. The Biden administration continues to willfully fail to secure our southern border and then, of course, lie about it. The White House is proving that it's AWOL and has no desire to quell this escalating crisis. We are continuing to expel people coming from a range of countries as we are continuing to apply Title 42 because there is a global pandemic that is ongoing. Ooh, that was one heck of a uh, press conference today. The only thing they can point to is a Trump era rule that they hate and they use as a talking point to pretend to deport some people. Just more lies coming from an administration that is full of them. And today we learned that the administration has released thousands of residents of Bidenville since their only goal is to clear out the camp as fast as possible. You got to make the pictures go away. That's the only goal. But when it comes to those so-called deportations, they're only worried about single adult males, it seems, with family units and pregnant women being allowed to stay, meaning more anchor babies and more illegals. According to Border Patrol Chief Brandon Judd, over 600,000 of the illegal border crossers have been released under the, into the U.S. under catch and release since Biden took office eight months ago. 600,000. And now reports show illegals popping up in states as far away as Florida, New York, Maryland, and many more we don't even know about. In a few moments, we're going to talk to one eyewitness on the ground who has a firsthand account of a pregnant woman from the Bidenville Bridge in Del Rio being flown to Florida in order to give birth to a new anchor baby son. And it's not just pregnant women who, who are about to burst that are allowed to stay. As Fox News' Bill Malugin reports, all a woman has to do is claim she is pregnant and she will be released. They're asked to please report, please, pretty please, report to immigration within 60 days. On their own cognizance. So it's still open season on the U.S. border, and it looks like almost everyone is allowed to stay. But why the surge in illegal immigrants this past year? Well, because Biden invited them when on the campaign trail. I would, in fact, make sure that there is, we immediately surge to the border. All those people are seeking asylum. They deserve to be heard. That's who we are. We're a nation that says if you want to flee and you're fleeing oppression, you should come. You should come. That's the only message the third world heard. You should come. And the message was received loud and clear by the horde of illegals looking to rush our border. They're having a new president versus Biden. He's going to help all of us. He's given us 100 days to get to the U.S. Here's the thing. That 100 days has never ended, kind of like two weeks to, to slow the spread. So far, it's been 245 very long days, 245 days of Biden waving the white flag on the U.S. border and rolling out the welcome mat for anyone from anywhere for pretty much any reason. Now, he keeps telling us that he's going he's gonna to get the border under control. But how can he know if it's never, if he, how can he know if the border's under control if he's never been there to see the reality firsthand? Has President Biden ever been to the southern border? In his life? Yes. I will have to get, look back in my history books and check the we, times he's been to the southern border. We have been looking all morning, and we cannot find any record of him visiting the border as president, vice president, senator, or even as a concerned citizen. Why would that be? I can check and see when the last time or when he may have been. In his life? We're still waiting for that answer from the White House, by the way, which we'll bring to you if and when we get it. The guy has been in government longer than I've been alive. And he may have never been to the southern border. No pictures, no events, nothing at all. I mean, he's been to Afghanistan and Iraq dozens of times, Mexico many times, but never to the border ever. Maybe the White House will come up with some obscure former visit, but the point still holds. He doesn't care. He never has. And now he's a useful tool for the open border left that completely controls, you know, that big white building he currently wanders around in. Biden has no idea what's going on in Texas. But he has had some strong opinions on Haiti in the past. 
If Haiti, a god-awful thing to say, if Haiti just quietly sunk into the Caribbean or rose up 300 feet, it wouldn't matter a whole but, lot. Hmm. Sounds pretty racist to me. Now he says he's going to deport them, but he's actually not. So now he's just a racist and a liar. And apparently his administration has no respect for the brave men and women of Border Patrol as they've given in to the fake news reports, you know, the whips smearing their work. We've watched the photos of Haitians gathering under a bridge, many with families, and the horrific video of the CBP officers on, horse, on horses using brutal and inappropriate measures against innocent people. The horrific video that's since been debunked. The only people doing, uh, taking brutal and inappropriate measures against innocent people are the Mexican cartels, who are trafficking these people for cash. But the White House never mentions that, because by flying these illegally trafficked people across the country, our government has become an extension of the cartel pipeline. The cartels get them to the border. Joe Biden, he takes it from there. Now, today we learn that the White House is disciplining the horse-riding border agents for simply doing their job. As new reports show, those agents have been shifted to desk duty amid an investigation. They'll probably be processing released illegals. Well done, Joe. Trashing the only people actually doing their job. Who would you like to control the border? Oh, nobody? Yeah, we already know that. But once again, don't worry, as Vice President Giggles is on top of it. She is on her way, not to Texas. No, 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 that would make too much sense. Instead, she's heading to New York to join the crew at The View this week. So to recap, Bidenville residents not being deported, cartels running the show, Joe Biden helping them, brave Border Patrol agents on desk duty, root cause Kamala AWOL, and Texas versus the world. Because the message is loud and clear from this White House to the world. Keep coming. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.